Hey guys, as I said, I was going to be back pretty quickly with the next 10 metal bands you haven't heard but should. We got nice, um, some more black metal stuff here. It's almost all CD except for one 7 inch single, just because it's convenient to do that way. But um, also, I actually have the next video. I've ordered loads of stuff, so hopefully that will be soon. First off the list is off via Shadow Kingdom Records, Black and Speed Metal as Bewitcher. You haven't heard these guys, they're like, you know, the same kind of black and speed metal bands like Midnight, Whip Striker. These bands I've talked about a lot, um, but you know, it's sort of like that Venom type sound. It's aggressive, it's fun, it sounds killer. It's got some really catchy tracks like uh, Under the Witching Cross, the title track I really love, uh, Hex and Krieg I really love, Heathen Woman, those three in a row. It's an album to listen to over and over and over for sure. Next is a band I saw recently opening for Midnight in London. They're a UK, like, um, again, black and speed kind of thing, heavy sentence. So they, they've done two singles, both seven inches. Um, this is Edge of the Knife, and then on the back side, Heavy Vengeance. They're both really cool songs. It's another one to put on the turntable and just keep flipping it over, playing it again and again. If, again, if you like bands like Bewitcher, you'll certainly enjoy these guys. They're sleazy, they're fun. Next, a more daunting release, um, musically speaking, is the new Sinmara album, which is called Vissel I don't know, Icelandic is hard. On uh, Van Records, featuring members of uh, Svartadauri, uh, Alkimirvi, however you say that one, who I was meant to see all playing together. Um, in London, but the tour got cancelled, so that's really sad. Thankfully, Undergang announced the show, so that cheered me up a bit. But um, this new album is really kind of dissonant, typically Icelandic sounding, atmospheric. I'll just show inside again. This is their logo uh, here. It's just really unnerving and haunting, and it has those kind of like chiming guitars. It's absolutely excellent. This. Really an album to put on and do nothing else, you know, maybe with candles, incense, all that kind of uh, good atmospheric stuff you can just listen to and really sink into the depths of the album. Now in the complete opposite direction, this is a really fun release, thrash metal band Antichrist. Uh, this album's about two years old, I think. Uh, yeah, 2017 on I Hate Records. It's just... Um, Fun-loving, thrashy, speedy, idiotic, beer-spilling, good heavy metal times. Check it out. Next is an album I've literally just finished listening to, which is actually one of my favourite black metal releases this year. All the way from Malaysia, these guys sent me the CD because I reviewed their album on my uh, webzine, and they sent me the CD as a thank you. I love it. I was gonna, um, oh, you know, it was a CD I wanted anyway. The band actually started in the early 90s, putting out a demo, I think, in 93 or 94, and haven't put anything out until, like, a month ago. And that would be Diabolical Onslaught from Dark Lord, all the way from Malaysia on Gedebe Records, I think you call it. Absolutely epic, synth-driven black metal, but, like, sort of, it's quite weird if... It's sort of got some parts more along the kind of uh, dungeon synth line with, um... Some influence coming from Samael as well and Rotting Christ and those kinds of bands are Mystifier, clearly. But also some, you know, there are some Emperor vibes, but there are there are quite a lot of synths, but they're not what you're expecting of sort of big epic synths, more like kind of dark dungeon-y synths. But it's just piercing, it's evil. I mean, it even says along the top, medieval occult black arts, which is definitely what you get. So, no false advertising. On the subject of synth-driven black metal, we now have a band I'm pretty sure no one has heard of um, in terms of I've never seen anyone post about them on Instagram or something. I didn't know it. I put it, picked it up in a record store and asked to listen to some. It's raw. And when I say it's raw, I don't mean sort of there's a bit of static to the guitars kind of like most bands. I mean there is almost no production value. It's incredibly thin-sounding. But there's something really charming about that and how stripped back it is. Talking about the band Umbacrel, I believe you would say it. I'm not sure where they're from. The label, I believe, is French. Dead Sun Records. Uh, 
they're based in France anyway. Uh, it's like early, early, early proto kind of experimental black metal with the synths and stuff. Thin, eerie guitars, it's cold, it's violent, but it's also quite atmospheric if you can get past the production flaws. I think it's actually really solid, there's some cool riff work on there, I think um, there's some really good ideas, and I don't really care about production anyway, I'm so used to listening to arguably unlistenable stuff. And I think that there's some real cool underground gem here that a lot of people will have missed, so that's why that appears. But yeah, if you're one of these people who likes really good production, which I also enjoy, I'm sort of on both sides of the coin now, but um, if you can't stand, like, really, really raw stuff, just don't touch it. But if that's your bag, I think you'll like it. Next, another kind of thrashy, speedy band. It's a live album called just called Live Ceremonial from Atomic Aggressor, which is some nice Lovecraft themed stuff which as you guys probably know from my social media I've been reading like a lot of Lovecraft um jumping on the bandwagon there a bit but hey ho shit happens deal with it uh really good thrashy speedy just again much like the Antichrist album I actually bought these together uh Beatniks and Norwich um Norwich I really stumbled on that one there um killer thrashy speedy goodness just listen to it and go absolutely nuts Next up is a band I'm really excited to see supporting Destroyer 666, and that's Nocturnal Graves with a Season of Mist Underground Activists, which up until about a week ago I thought was Underground Archivists, so my bad for that. This is a re-release of their debut album, Satan's Cross, which is unlisted, but it comes with their five-track demo, which is previously unreleased. It's barbarically heavy Black Death Thrash Speed mix. Is, you know, elements from stuff like Archgoat through to some stuff like uh, like Whip Striker and stuff. They're my kind of common reference for just crazy ass bands because they're Brazilian. They know what they're doing when it comes to just crazy extreme metal. It's got such a metal album cover. Like, that shit is so cool. But yeah, definitely check out Nocturnal Graves if you like stuff like Destroy 666, the first creator album. Whip Striker, uh, Barbarian, that kind of like Hell's Headbangers sound. Next up is a Polish black metal project that I believe is now based in the UK. I actually put out a single from this release on one of my label, HPM Records compilations. This is the inside, the band is called Black Altar, and you get sort of two EPs in a Digipack CD. It's really cool, like early. Early Norwegian black metal, Eastern European black metal kind of mix. It's really awesome. Um, it's, it's not particularly unique, but the precision that it's executed with, if you like that style, it's a damn solid release. And I really think a lot of you guys who are into the Eastern European black metal sound will enjoy it. Now talking of quite a traditional black metal sound, I think we all know what's coming when I say... If you're a fan of the earlier Emperor albums, um, Vagrav, their second album, Rain in Supreme Darkness, which unlike some people I've seen, I much prefer to the first one. I still love the first one. This is from the Finnish label Werewolf Records. Um, you know, there's not a lot I can say about Vagrav other than if you like sort of Emperor worship, that sort of synth-driven like just dense walls of atmospheric black metal if you like that you'll love this it's got a stunning cover it's really gorgeous music i've been i played it quite a lot i really enjoy listening to this it's actually quite relaxing um so you know if you need some nighttime black metal it's not going to make you want to go and smash it up check out Vargraph with uh rain and supreme darkness on werewolf records there's another 10 metal bands you haven't heard but should. Um, I'm hoping there's some there's some weirder bands like Umbacreo, um, Dark Lord, uh, and uh, Sinmara and Heavy Sentence. I think maybe a few less of you will know, maybe. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the music as always. I hope you've enjoyed the video. S uh, you know, subscribe, like if you want to do all that shit. I appreciate it. But um, yeah, hopefully I'll have some more records and CDs and tapes to show soon. Until then, stay heavy.